，喂，一只一只一只一只一只一只。嗨，我们刚刚讲到 another episode of Unlock Project Engines。So today we are going to do tools review and building. So we are building Earth Three Ganda, and I bought two new tools. If you can see here from this page, so if you see clearly, I believe it is pronounced as this pie. But let's just call it this pie for easier reference. So this is a single blade cutter, and this has been out very long already. So this is a very ultra thin single blade nipper. So it is quite similar. I wouldn't say it's better than the God Hand single blade nipper. For cost wise, if you're on a budget build, this is definitely good. And I got another hobby file. They call it the Leviathan Ultimate Hobby File. It's also from the same company. And this is only been just released, and it's very hard to find in the market. If you want to know, do comment down. I'll let you know where do I get it from. It is very affordable. So why do I move on to file? Is because it, it can be used on long run. Because if you calculate the cost just buying sandpaper or this, in the long run you have to buy a lot. But sandpaper got its strength and weakness. File got its strength and weakness. We'll talk more about it. So I'll just briefly touch on what we are going to do today. We are going to build a free Gundam, and what's so special about this Gundam is that we are going to collab with our local YouTuber for some special project up and coming. So do stay tuned and subscribe on the notification button. So do follow our social media platform is in the description below, and occasionally we will do posts on what you all want to see. So remember to go follow, like our social media platform too. So without further ado, let's move on. To the tools review first, and after that, we will do a comparison from my usual nipper. Why spend more on a good quality nipper? So without further ado, let's move on to the main topic of today's video. So as you can see, there's two types of nippers over here. One is the Mister Two by Mister Obi. I bought in Japan last year. Price at that point of time was one five three seven yen. It is very affordable, but if you want to include air tickets or this, it'll be expensive, lah. What's different about this nipper? Actually, this is a very basic nipper, and this I would say a high end nipper is that the blades. First thing you need to know: all blades are fragile. No matter you buy how expensive it is, especially the more expensive, the more fragile it is. Cut very smooth like butter. So this is a double blade nipper, if you can see. So what you can see from this nipper is is double blade. What I mean by double blade was that if you see this plate, this part and this part, they are sharp. Take note of this. While I move on to the display single blade cutter. So what's good about this that it cuts well. It cuts well. <laughs> what's not good about it that when cutting, I would say example this is the nut. What it does double blade nipper does is cut. And you pull the plastic up, and you cause a lot of stress, ma. Later, I'll show you while we are building our Earth Tree. So let's open. Warning: Use sharp blade. Be careful. Do not injure yourself. Ooh. Sorry, I got a bad habit. I like to smell my things. I like the finishing that does. Okay, let let's go around the what does it talk about? You got a very short description. The tool uses a design which possesses superior processing power from the tangent plane of screw model and effectively improves efficiency on making models. So basically, in short, it, it cut very nicely, lah. So this is the description that you can see. So this is description you see. So and for a lot of people will say that wow. Because I'm buying online, so a lot of people will say, "Wow, what if I got counterfeit item? No worries. There's a code is behind my finger. You can go on their website. You key in this code. It tells you that your this product is originally from the manufacturer or is being produced by a counterfeit company. There's a wording also using this 16 digit code. It will tell the authenticity of it. And this item, I would say that only cut on plastic, ABS, PC. Do not, do not." Cut on metal parts because it might break. So out from the box, oops, we got a. The nipper, the nipper, not nipper. Sorry, the leather, the leather. 
protect your cutter okay i always like that company do all these special leather <coughs> i wouldn't say it's 100 leather but at least it does protect your nipple from the moisture in whatever country you are using to prevent it from rust but do you still need to do basic maintenance by oiling don't wash by wiping off the dirt and oil your cutter so they, they also have provide this QR code and a scratch proof where you scratch and they'll tell you the authenticity of it. So and behind there is the instruction, which I am not going to touch more on it because I will tell you more about it, how to cut it properly. So they provide a cloth for you to wipe and this of instruction. So there's Chinese, there's uh, basic English. They have the one that I want to talk about. This is what I mean by single blade cutting. So by single blade cutting, if you see closely, one side of the blade is flat, another side is sharp. Wow, this cutter is both sides is sharp. So this is this act like a cutting board. This is a knife. So it just lines it and it's very sharp and very thin. One tea cut. First thing, always take care and maintain your nipple for long term usage. So, oh yeah, one more thing, if you notice, here say STA 3.0. So this is the third version of it. There's only just these two items inside. This is like an Allen key, and it feels very light, definitely lighter than this one. Always check when you buy something, especially if you buy from a shop, always check. Once you can straight away open it in a shop, and always check that your blade, this part, must be flush. If you notice that it is not flush, to tell the shopkeeper. If you buy online, then you have to send it back, exchange. So, and if you see carefully, on the left side is the blade, on the right side is the flat part, like a cutting board. This Allen key do is that, see this part, okay? And this part, always try not to press it hard, bang it, all this. Okay, so we'll carry on build the Earth Tree Gundam. If you notice there are some box, why the panda is red? So blue, it means that it's panda spirits. You don't know which year the company has created another company while they are still affiliated called Bandai Spirit where they focus more on modeling while Bandai focus more on maybe anime. So Earth Tree Gundam, so today we are building the HG 1-144 Earth Tree Gundam. So okay, actually the YouTube, you can watch the anime for free. You don't need to go to third party anime site while just by scanning this. And this is the Hiroto's mobile suit. Now Bandai Spirit have uh, put in English about what this Gundam is about. Also do go check on our anime reaction video. So remember to subscribe on the notification button. If you notice the Gundam is two different things. Oh yeah, here. The core Gundam. And this is the armor. So we have three armor. The Earth Tree V2 must fall. So we will build the main core when it first appear. Uh, we will build the first armor that it appear in the anime. So it also tell you if you notice this how the armor look like. Okay. So we build more and show you. Every more, it will show you when it was designed and when it was built. If you notice the beam saber itself, it say Bandai 2007. Means that this more, this more is created in year 2007 and they've been reusing it. So if you notice why most of the beam is always the same because they've been just reused, reused. The more can create a lot of it. And if you see here, HG, I noticed that just today only that all the parts is always the same for HG. This more. 2019. So actually because this come out in 2019, because this is a newer model, not those old model, uh, Bandai has created a different assembly instruction. So main thing will just tell you what to do, what not to do, take note. So for customized Gunpla, you see, you got the armor, the core Gundam, the armor of the core Gundam, you can mix half half, blue red. Let's start building! Let's start building! Okay, so now we will do the building pochage. So first, okay, so from now on, I'll be using two nipper. So how do I utilize it is, let's cut apart first. So cut away from the nipper. So if you see closely here, if you notice what I mean by using two, you see this white part? Yeah, so by using two blade nipper, you will cause all these dress marks. 
So always cut more extra if you see closely. And this part I'm going to use the all this pay. Ooh, it really cut like butter. It really cut like butter. So you see, there's some white dish part, if you see clearly. Wow, this part done by the ceramic file. See, there's a clean cut. There will still be no marks. It is not as bad as it's like, you see, this is the no mark that is created. Yeah, this is my first try, first time using this nipple. Now I'm going to use this and show you. For this, how I'm going to do is I'll just always use your thumb to guide your file or sandpaper. So you just like that, like this. See closely, the stress mark is basically gone. Because this thing I forgot to touch on, it is this Earth 3 Gundam, if we are going to do some customization, we have to send it properly and make sure there's no look marks or stress mark so that you'll go to another local YouTuber do proper customization. Okay, this file will just do a basic one because it's around 800 grits to 1000 grits. So why do in one single stroke is because if you do two stroke, your parts will curve. You won't be flat or the intended design anymore. <laughs> the new mark is gone. So if you see there's a lot of foul mark, use a higher grit sandpaper and just send it through in one single stroke to smooth up even more. Apply a bit of pressure if needed. So if you notice, you see the foul and sandpaper just Wipe it. If cannot, just wash it because this is ceramic foam. So I just cut a part from the runner. Okay, a small part. When I cut it, if you notice, there's already been stretch mark. Yeah, there has been stretch mark already. If you notice, so if I cut it even more, white color, which will try not to make it when you are building your gunpla. So if I'm using a single blade cutter, I'm just showing you a demonstration on how good and effective this is. And you see the effect. No shrek mark at all. And it's just only one side that is cutting in. So if you see, the one with the white shrek mark is being cut by my Mr. Tools nipper, which is the double blade, while the left one is cut by the display single blade cutter.
So there you have it guys. Earth 3 Gundam with his body armor come out from the core package. Before this, you have seen the combination. This is a very cool kit. That if compared to the previous one, it is very advanced as Bandai has been improving their articulation. So for example, the core Gundam is leg, but when with his armor, the leg was hidden here like that. So along the way, some video I will take note that on some parts inside, I have made a cut on the O. That is because that I can remove the part easily. And the V-fin, there are some nuts, some safety protection. I cut it off and send it. Okay? So, but I have one trouble. is this chest package part. If I take out the hand and put the thing in, I put back my hand, it's very hard. Because this is just a HG kit very small so most of the part is very small so it is done to precise calculation that it fit just nice so there's no additional basing to be seen so it fit perfectly nicely when the whole package is done the part i noticed will be the beam saber because to pull it out is very hard and uh, it is very tight fit it can be done but be careful don't twist left and right have to pull upwards because the connector will break easily so this Gundam was so special is because we'll be sending it to our local YouTuber, not this Gundam. We will start off with very basic customization. So remember to subscribe and on the notification button and comment what you want us to customize. Do remember to subscribe to our channel. You'll be given to one of his fans. It will be a giveaway. Thank you. Bye.